All right, Brendan, thank you so much. And our coverage of Alec Murdoch on trial for killing his wife and youngest son continues with expert analysis from attorney Roddy Richter of the first hours of jury selection. And we, of course, are talking about how that trial is shaping up. Mr. Richter, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. One of the things that we were just talking about as Brendan was speaking is the fact that Alec Murdoch decided he wanted to be tried right here in Colleton County in a community that he knows very well. Do you believe that this is something that's going to affect the outcome of the jury? And why would he make that decision? Yeah, there was, there was only one right and obvious choice for Alex Murdoch as far as the location of this trial. You know, here in Charleston, we probably have six degrees of separation. Mm -hmm. In Colleton County, there might be two. And when you think about the Murdoch's and the role that they've played in that county for 100 years now, obviously the jurors that are selected are gonna say they can be fair and impartial. But if you're Alex Murdoch and his team, you're counting on the fact that either by the good deeds that that law firm and that family has done for that county for so long, or by the fear that they still instill in, in, in many of the population, that they're gonna get people on that jury who are gonna be favorable to Alex. So you said fear in some cases and revered in others. Yeah, I, th I think when you look at the Murdoch dynasty, when you, when you understand what they represented to that community, they held the solicitor seat for 100 years. So they are the folks who are calling the cases for com criminal trial. That's a lot of power. At the same time, their law firm, PMPED, was, was the premier law firm in that part of the state, still is, for 100 years. So they've done wonderful things for lots of people in that community. At the same time, they've punished a lot of people in that community. So you get that, that dichotomy of they're both feared by a, a portion of the population, mm -hmm. but they're also revered. Should this jury be sequestered, and do you believe that's what Judge Newman will order? I do think they should in this case, just because there's been so, so much intense publicity on this case. It's unusual for a South Carolina case. I do think that he will order that they be sequestered. Um, I think it's paramount in this case. We are trying to restore some public confidence. What's happened with the Murdoch's, what's happened in this case and the associated cases, has been such a black eye for the state of South Carolina, for the administration of justice, for the bar in this state, that I, that I think the judge really wants to bend over backwards to try to restore and instill faith and confidence in the system. Mr. Richter, who does the prosecution want as a juror and who does the defense want? Yeah, yeah um, respectfully, Carolyn, you're asking the wrong question. Okay. Right? It's, uh, in jury Not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> jury selection <laughs> in South Carolina is more a process of who you don't want. Okay. All right, so I like to say in South Carolina, we strike jurors, we don't seat jurors. So if you think about this lengthy process, you start with 300 potential jurors. We're trying to get that down to 12, all right? And, and each side has afforded so many strikes. So after all the qualification questions are asked, after all the bias questions are asked, when you're left with a limited pool that you're gonna draw from, each side has a limited number of strikes. And so the way the sausage is made is that as these people are being introduces potential jurors, mm -hmm. you're learning as much information as you can about them, and you're grading them. You're, you literally have a scorecard, and I'm grading jurors A, B, C, D, F, and what you want off your jury are your Fs, all right? So the strikes are all important. I wanna make sure I don't have someone on that jury who's gonna be so adverse to my point of view that I can't talk to them. So it's more about who you don't want it's, more so than who you do. It's everything about who you don't want because you, again, they might have four strikes. Sure. They may have graded five of those jurors as Fs, right? So now you have five people on the jury that you know you don't want there. And if you think about the respective camps, you know, who do you not want there? If you're Alex Murdoch, who do you not want on that jury panel? Well, you don't want someone who's uh, associated with law enforcement. You don't want staunch conservatives. You don't want law and order people, right? And so as you learn more and more about these jurors, that's how you're grading and scoring. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, if you're the state, who do you not want there? Well, obviously you don't want Murdoch loyalists there. Sure. Uh, you don't want uh, victims of violent crime or people who have family members who are victim of, of violent crimes, maybe uh, divorced spouses who had a violent relationship with their partner. There is a lot to sort out. Yeah, so yeah. we're trying to strike them. Well, we appreciate Ronnie Richter. Thank you so much yeah. for being with us. Yeah. We will have you back again to sort this out as, of course, jury selection in Colleton County is underway. Stay with us.